Here are four ways to help students understand how to convert a fraction greater than one, also referred to as an improper fraction, into a mixed number. With the first way, we're going to use math manipulatives, specifically fraction tiles. With our fraction tiles, we're going to convert or rename 14 thirds into a mixed number. So let's think about how many thirds is equivalent to one whole. Lining up our thirds against the red tile, which represents one whole, we see that three thirds is equivalent or equal to one whole. Let's continue to do that until we use all of the 14 thirds. Now that all of the thirds are grouped into holes, let's count how many holes we made. One, two, three, four. We made four holes from the 14 thirds. And remember, there are an extra two thirds. We don't have enough to make another hole. So what is our new mixed number? Four and two thirds. 14 thirds is equal to four and two thirds. The second way we will look at converting a fraction greater than one into a mixed number is by drawing picture models. We're going to use the same fraction, 14 thirds, in this example. Similar to using the fraction tiles, we'll need to think about how many thirds is equal to one whole and represent that in the picture model we draw. Again, we see that three thirds makes up one whole. Let's repeat what we just did to show a total of 14 thirds. So far, we have four groups of three thirds. Three thirds and three more is six thirds, three more is nine thirds, and three more is 12 thirds. We'll have to draw an extra hole to get to 14 total thirds. But we'll only shade in two of the thirds because we don't need all three to get to 14 thirds. Now let's count how many holes that are completely shaded in. One, two, three, four holes and two extra thirds are shaded in. So with this model, we see that we have a total of four holes and two thirds. 14 thirds is equal to four and two thirds. A third way moves away from pictures and focuses on using repeated subtraction as a way to convert a fraction greater than one to a mixed number. Again, we're using the example of 14 thirds to highlight these strategies. With repeated subtraction, we want to subtract out a whole or the amount of thirds that equals to one whole, and that is three thirds. 14 thirds minus three thirds is 11 thirds. 11 thirds minus three thirds is eight thirds. We can continue doing this until we no longer can subtract three thirds. Remember, that is how much is equivalent to one whole in this example. With two thirds being left over, it's not enough to subtract another three thirds, so we'll stop here. count how many holes are in 14 thirds, let's group each 3 thirds that we subtracted and see how many there are in total. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 holes in 14 thirds and 2 extra thirds. Don't forget those extra thirds. 14 thirds is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. 
In the fourth way of showing how to convert fractions greater than 1 to a mixed number, we'll use division. When using division, choose the division strategy that you or your students are most comfortable with. In this example, we're using partial quotient, which can look very similar to long division. Just ensure that students understand that we're dividing 14 by 3, or the numerator, by the denominator. When dividing 14 by 3, we can think about there being four groups of 3 and 14, and 4 times 3 equals 12. When we subtract the 12, we see that there is 2 remaining. So how do we use this information to write a mixed number? The 4 represents our 4 groups of 3 thirds or 4 wholes. Out of all 14 thirds, there are 2 of the 3 thirds we need for a whole remaining. So we can write that part as a fraction. 14 thirds is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. 